story is I love traveling and I love the idea of conservation and I wanted to document the experience. Welcome to Noe Island. Large hairy baby. Oh, it's so cute. Would she bite? Yeah. She would feel much pain. The wounds are staying. I'm quite lucky. I'm, I'm able to see all these things. But what about my kids? And my kids' kids? Maybe they won't be able to see it. Maybe it'll be like what become a legend. We think on average we're losing about 5,000 chimps a year to bushmeat and illegal trade. It really is back to humans making that decision of whether. They want their closest living relative to be living beside them or not. How do we, as a species, learn how to interact with the world around us in such a way that we don't kill it off? Where our first instinct isn't to slaughter an endangered animal for food or for profit. I think one way that projects such as this can benefit greatly is by having an increased number of eco-volunteers or um, international volunteers who want to come and help with a conservation and research project such as this. It's about conservation, it's about the community, it's about um, education. I feel like I did something or I was a part of something and I'm going to make a difference. And I think that's much more fulfilling for a vacation than just sitting on a beach all day with a beer. <laughs> Each one of the animals has their own story, their own survival, their own piece of luck that they were spared from the machete or the gun or whatever the case may be. I hope that people will sort of realize it's, it's very important. I mean, it's part of us. It's the funny thing, isn't it? We evolved from the water and we still go back to the water. <laughs>